Hello everyone, I am Josh and welcome to this Sims 4 room building video. So I actually quite enjoyed my last room building video which was of a kitchen and I thought I'd give it a go again. So today I'm going to build a library, or a home library rather, because it's going to be for your Sims house, of course. And yeah, let's just begin here. Um, let's get out of the room. Let's just plonk a little square down here and shape it into some kind of room. So I don't want this to be a huge room, but I don't want it to be tiny either. So I'm thinking that um, that's a pretty decent size. How big is that? It looks like it's eight again. I like to make my rooms one at least one of the dimensions eight something. Yeah, so I mean that's a decent size. Eight by what is that? Ten? It's nine? Eight by nine? It looks like. Um, so I think that's pretty good size. Um, I don't want it to be over, overly huge or anything. Um, anyway, let's get a door in, just so your sims can enter the library, because that's always convenient. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, we're going to have to make this room a little bit bigger, because I want this, <laughs> the entrance door to be centered. There you go. Um, and let's actually change the color of it to a dark wood. You know, because from inside you want to be a nice dark wood. And I'm also thinking that I want to have some form of bay window going on. So I'm going to do this. And not that. No, okay. Not that. Okay, get rid of that little... No, okay, hold on. Get the normal room tool for this. There we go. So, get some kind of um, bay window going on. So, you know, you have a nice luxurious... Actually, you know what I should do? Is, should I put... Oh, that's not right. Hold on a second. Should I put bay windows on all the sides of the room? Maybe. Ooh, maybe that's a good idea. <laughs> or maybe that's a horrible idea. And this room is going to... Oh, no. Hold on a second. Get a bit... Or, no. Actually, I'm going to make it smaller. Because, um, you know, I don't want this to be such a huge room. It doesn't need to be overly massive. But I do want it to be kind of luxurious. So, like, these little bay windows can be, like, reading nooks or something. Who knows? You know, so there you go. <laughs> this... I don't know what I think of this. It's a little bit of a weird shape. Um, but, you know, <laughs> so this would obviously be at, like, the end of your house, so you'd have this, like, you know, the rest of your house would be here, and this would be coming out of the house or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to put just some kind of exterior siding, because I like to do that. Let's get a red, because that's pretty exotic. <laughs> um, and let's also put some windows in, of course. So I'm thinking these windows, maybe? Um, yeah, I'm thinking that I want to do these. Although, they probably don't come in the color I want. No, they don't. Okay. We're not doing those windows. They suck. <laughs> um, we could... Oh, that's not going to fit. Wait, hold on. I know that there's a good arch. Oh, these are kind of small, but these hopefully come in a dark wood. They do. Alright, so this is what we're going to use. We're going to get some arched windows in here. Some will go here, and we'll get some here. You know, make it look nice and fancy. I'll put some over here as well. As you do, some nice windows. Quite fabulous. Okay, <laughs> we got some light going on in here now. And I don't think we need a grid anymore. So, let's start by putting in some bookshelves. I always like to kind of lay out the furniture first before I kind of start deciding on colors. Um, I don't know, it's just the way I like to work. And also, the bookshelf I want to use is locked. So, hold on, let me just um, casually unlock this using ignore. This is the most ridiculous cheat ever. Ignore gameplay unlock. Sentitlement. That right, is that right? No, I think I spelled it wrong. Well, that's annoying. Okay, ignore gameplay unlock sentitlement. There we go. That I hate that cheat so much. They, why do they have to make it so complicated? Anyway, um, let's get some of these bookshelves in. Do I want to intersect them like that? I don't know because um, then it's gonna be all glitchy. It doesn't look quite right. I put them there, then this... Oh, I didn't really leave enough room, did I? <laughs> um, well... Hold on a second. We could just kind of maneuver them into place, and that's the color tool. And, um, just try to do that. Not perfect, but it works, I think. So, you know, just because I want, like, a nice wall-to-wall -wall bookshelf experience going on in here. And, of course, these should be the darkest wood, because... That will also minimize the glitching going on. Um, but yeah, 
I think that looks all right. We'll also get some more on the other wall, obviously. Hopefully this wall will be a little bit better because there's more room. Yeah, there definitely is more room here. So there will be less glitchiness happening, which is always a plus. Uh, one thing I want to do is a fireplace, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet because um, there's not too much wall space. I guess we could put it in like one of these dormer areas. So let's grab a fireplace. Um, oh, someone downloaded the Dunphy house. That's fun. Um, it's a little bit high up. If we use this one, that doesn't help, does it? Um, we could try that. I mean, it doesn't cut off the windows too much. I mean, it like just barely does. As you can see, there's only like a little strip there. So I think we're okay. Uh, I'm going to recolor it, though, because the colors are not good. Uh, let's go with black for now. I guess we could always change that. Um, let's get some lighting in. Just get some nice lighting. These are like my favorite lights, the Snowbool Snow Bool Pendant Lamp. Sounds like, is this is like supposed to be a Swedish thing, like a, a Ikea lamp of some kind. I don't know. These aren't the final lighting. I'm just using them because they just provide a lot of light. Um, unlike a lot of the lights in the game, they're quite good at what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, let's get some wood flooring in because what do you expect from a library? You know, you'd expect a nice wood flooring of some kind. Not sure I like that one, though. Maybe this kind of, ooh, like in a really dark, yes, there we go. I actually really like this kind of design in wood flooring. I don't really know what it's called. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's called, but I like it. We have parquet flooring as well, but it doesn't come in a darker color. So I like the darker color more, so that's what we're going to go with. And also, we're going to get some nice luxurious wall paneling. Should it be like total wood color? Like, be all wood and no paint? Or is that like a little bit too wooden? Because <laughs> I mean, like this is like really pushing it, because I could do it with some paint involved. Like, I could get a dark red. Ooh, that's pretty intense. Um, I don't like that combination at all. No, that's not what I wanted. White. I could get like a white color. But you know what? I actually am really leaning toward the all wooden look. I don't know why. I just think it looks really elegant. Maybe a little bit dark, but, you know, it kind of gets the idea. As you probably can tell by this point, it's not going to be a modern room. Um, I kind of like, I don't know, I want to do black or blue for the um, fireplace. I think I'm going to go with black because it has that gold kind of trim, which I think looks very classy. Anyway, let's get a seating area in. Um, when it comes into furnishings, I'm not a huge fan of this um, couch. This one looks a bit nicer, actually. Um, of course, I like modern furniture a lot more, <laughs> but like this is a f couch from Spa Day. Um, which surprisingly kind of suits the room, but we're not doing that. Um, oof, I don't know. Like, there's this couch, which looks a little bit not not very luxurious. Um, I really like these couches, actually. These are like my, some of my favorite because they're not like too over the top, but they're definitely kind of have this luxurious look to them. Um, and I think white actually will be good because it will offset all this darkness going on. So we'll go with some white couches or a white couch. Um, should we get multiple couches? I'm not sure how I want to do this. Oh, you know what? The couches should face each other like this. Because I did do a library in my most recent, not my most recent, but one of my most recent house builds, um, that mansion, Woodbury Estate. I did do a library, and it looked really good because I put these couches kind of like this. And then I got a coffee table to go between them. What is in here? I never noticed this coffee table. I should use it more. There's, like, cool stuff in there. Anyway, it's not appropriate for this room. Should we use the chest? coffee table, maybe? No, maybe not. Um, we can get this coffee table and change the color of it, perhaps. Do I, no, I like the black more. Um, yeah, I think this is okay. Let's move these couches in a bit, because otherwise it seems, they seem a little bit weirdly far away. Um, should this be, like, in the dead center of the room, maybe? Um, instead of, like, being pushed over weirdly? That's not the center. Oh, this is not gonna go exactly in the center, but we'll put it there. I think that's actually pretty good, although the couches do seem a little far away, so we'll bring those in. Uh, we can get some chairs to go by the fireplace, because, you know, you want to relax. Um, so we get some chairs in here. Um, oh, these chairs do not come in very good colors, do they? <laughs> that's annoying. Okay, look, we're not using these chairs. They're going away, and we'll use these chairs instead, perhaps. Let's see, what colors are these? Oh, yes, these come in much better colors. Uh, do I want to go with black or kind of like this maroon color, perhaps? Or it's like a caramel color. 
Um, no, I don't want a clone. No, I don't want the grid. Turn the grid off. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, the chairs seem like a very weird angle. It's like your feet would kind of be in the way of whoever's sitting on the couch. But I think that's not bad. Um, let's get some plants to flank the fireplace, because, you know, it has to be elegant. Uh, we could get in these. These are a little over the top, but they fit. Also, I know these come with a gold planter pot, so we have to get that to match the fireplace, of course. Um, yeah, I think that's not bad. We can also get some lamps in here. Um, where are those really? Yeah, here's the elegant lamps. Um, and they come in really ugly colors. How convenient. Uh, we could go with red or yellow, because the browns come with really gross, like, leg colors. Um, we could go with red, I guess. I don't know, is that like... No, I guess that's alright. Not ideal, but it works. Um, yeah, so... Still a lot of space in this room. So perhaps on this side of the room, we could kind of make it like an office area of some kind. So if we get like a desk in here, um, the executive desk, of course, um, and maybe a chess table? I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? So if we get in... that's an outdoor chess table. I guess this is the one that would suit the room most, and it doesn't come in an appropriate color. Of course it doesn't, because why would it? Um, well, we go with yellow for some reason. We get some chairs for it. Uh, what would be an elegant chair? We go for like the most elegant chair you can get. And perhaps, if we're lucky, it will match, have a matching color of some sort. Mm, that That's really gross. Okay, it doesn't have a matching color. So we're gonna go with black. And we're actually going to get these chairs out of the way. Out of the way. Uh, delete that. And instead, I want this chess table. Because I'm fairly certain this comes in black. It does. Okay. Let's do that instead. There we go. Very sinister looking chess table there. It's all black, but it matches this table. Um, I wonder if this desk comes... Oh, it does come in black. Um, two different shades of black. Look at that. That's pretty exciting. Uh, we could just get another one of these chairs. For the desk, I guess. Um, what do we want to put on either side of the desk? That's the question. We have some other assorted items we could use. Oh, a piano! I don't know, like, is a piano appropriate for a, um... This kind of room? I don't know, but let's get a fancy piano in here. You know, like, if you want to listen to some... If you want someone to play the piano for you while you read... You know, why not? <laughs> um, we could get some curtains in here as well. Let's get some more curtains. Or some... Well, I don't have any curtains. Let's get some curtains in. Oh, the curtains. This is, like, my least favorite thing about the game, is the curtain choices, but we can go with these, and hopefully, if we're lucky, they'll come in a good color. It doesn't look like we're lucky, um, because they come in atrocious colors. Let's go with this, uh, kind of beige color. Maybe that will look good? Yeah, I guess that looks alright. Uh, I'm just not really digging these red lamps. I feel like we need to do something with those badly. Um, but anyway, let's get these curtains in here. Uh, some more curtains, there we go. Looking kind of luxurious. But we definitely need to change these red lamps. These are bad, 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 bad. Uh, what if... I know that there's um, some lamps, because I use them all the time, that come in beige. So maybe that will be better. These lamps... These lamps are a lot better. Um, just because... Whoops. Just because they um, are a little bit more... Um, a little bit more understated and not so hideous. Because the other ones are really ugly. Yeah, that definitely goes with the curtains a bit better than the red. So we're gonna go with those. Um, and, you know, these are just like so you can read if you're sitting here. You know, it's a bit easier to read if you got some light going on. Um, also, I want to put for sure some, you know, tables to go behind here so we can get this one in, which actually suits the room perfectly. We can get it in black. Perfect. Get another one of those to go over here. Move the chess table out of the way. You know, this adds just an extra bit of detail. You could put just some random objects on that, or um, I could put some random objects on there or something. Actually, speaking of random objects, let's look at some clutter. Uh, what have we got? So, we got some books, you know, so maybe we're reading some books and you just couldn't finish them, so you put them there. Uh, we also have some more books go on top of the fireplace, maybe. Uh, we have some plates, though I don't think that's really appropriate. Um, a painting, not a painting, a picture of a school team, you know, maybe they were, whoever owns this room, is whoever owns this room, whoever owns this house, or whatever, 
is really proud of their sports picture, so they put it there, or their kid's sports picture, or whatever. Um, and then maybe some elegant candles just to go in the middle, you know, just to make it seem really luxurious. We can get some yellow ones. Uh, what else could we use? We have some more books here, so maybe like you're piling some books on the floor over here um, in the corner, like you just couldn't finish putting them back on the shelves. We get some more in this corner. Um, change the color of them so it doesn't look like it's the same exact stack of books. Um, you know. And what else could we put? We have some of these antique tomes. Maybe those are just like on display for some reason. Um, we have some cookbooks from kitchen, cool kitchen stuff. We could incorporate some of these perhaps. You know, There you go, you got some cookbooks. Just any kind of book related item can work in here. Uh, what else have we got? Is, there, is that it? Come on, there must be more. Oh, uh, we get a tissue box if we want. You know, if you had to blow your nose, it's always good to have a tissue box nearby. What else is there? Um, we have some tongs. I don't think those really go in here. Some towels, some pots and pans that don't go on top of anything. Uh, some tr what is this? I don't even know what this is. It's like some plates and stuff. I don't know why you'd have that, but sure. Um, it's a painting of some butterflies, or a picture, I guess, of some butterflies. Yeah, that's that's a nice little touch, you know, why not have that? Um, although it looks like it's about to fall off that table there, so let's move that in a bit. Um, yeah, that's not bad. Let's get a rug in. Maybe the rug will help. I want to use, like, one of these, like, these giant rugs. I don't know who uses these, or, like, for what room. But actually, that's not... Oh, wow, I didn't realize this rug came in so many colors. I've never had the chance to use it, because... I've never made a house big enough, although it doesn't really suit the style of this room, so we're not going to use it, but still, pretty cool rug. Um, there's this rug here. Oh, it's not actually as big as I thought it was going to be. Maybe it comes in some good colors, though. No, 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 no. It comes in black, that blue. This is a really ugly rug. Maybe that, whoops, maybe that color is good. Yeah, that's actually not bad. And then, if we get the smaller matching version of this rug, we can have one here, you know, by the piano and get a matching color, or not. Why? Why? Why would you have two identical rugs, different sizes, but not have matching colors? Oh my goodness, and this is, they don't come in any colors. None of the colors, they come in the same except for this blue. That, that's not even the same. You have to be joking. Okay, wow, that is annoying. Alright, we're not going to do that because it's just not going to match. <laughs> Oh, wow, that just really irritates me so much. You don't even know. Um, all right, well, do we have some, we can use this round rug here and just purposely not match them. You know, we get this nice white, or maybe not white, maybe gray, or she comes in that kind of taupey color. That's pretty good. And I put one under the chest set as well. So, yeah, I guess that's all right. Um, not a fan. Okay, no, I don't like these rugs. I don't like it there. We'll have one under there. I'm not liking the color. No, I didn't want to clone it. I want to recolor it. Uh, maybe black. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, what else could we use in here? Well, actually, the lighting is not even final, so we'll get rid of these lights and get some proper lighting. Uh, let's see. Where's the lighting? Um, what have we got? Oh, wait. This steam hood is a light. I didn't even realize that. So it's technically a light. Okay, that's from Cool Kitchen Stuff, and I was wondering in my kitchen build why that wasn't in, like, the kitchen area. But that's because it's technically a light for some reason. That makes sense. Oh, no, it doesn't. Let's get some sconces in, you know, because those are definitely elegant. So let's throw those all over the place. Um, just pretty much on every wall, we could have some nice sconces going. And then, like, a big chandelier, if we got, because these are medium height ceilings, so maybe we can fit in something. Um, I don't think these are going to fit. These are definitely for the highest ceiling height. Um, Let's see, I really like that golden one that I was just had a second ago, this one here. Uh, maybe if we put this just right there, and one right over there, and one right over here. So, you know, you got nice chandeliers going on. Although, maybe I should make this one kind of match the others, just because I like everything to be nice and in line. There you go, that looks very elegant. Uh, let's actually get a computer on this desk, because that would make sense. Let's get a nice computer. There you go. Uh, we can get a desk lamp too, I guess. I mean, there's no reason not to. There you go, desk lamp. Um, also some plants, or maybe a plant. Don't need to overdo the plants. Um, let's see, like a nice elegant plant there in the corner. And perhaps change the color. 
yeah, um, I don't really know what else I want to do in here. If there's something else that I could put, that would be nice. Let's see. Um, get a violin. I mean, this is kind of turning into like a study slash music room slash library. Um, but I'm still going to call it a home library, mainly because it's more about the sitting area and the books more than the computer and the piano. They're just nice additions to the, ro to the room. Um, I don't, we can get a camera, you know, in case you want to take a picture for whatever reason. Um, what else can we use? A microphone? That makes no sense. Um, there's another camera. Do, 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 I don't know. Um, maybe some kind of artwork. There's no room on the walls for artwork, though, so I don't think that's really going to work. But we can see if there's anything that kind of fits above these. No, there's, yeah, you could fit stuff up these, above these bookshelves. Uh, there's, like, we can get this kind of landscape photo up there and perhaps this mountain one. You know, it's nice and elegant. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Uh, we're going to use the architectural ones, actually, because that seems like, you know, that would make a bit of sense, maybe. You know, in a library slash study, I could just imagine that you'd have architectural prints on the wall or something. I don't know. You know, just to go above the bookshelves, add a little bit of extra detail or something. Um, but yeah, actually, I think that this is pretty much um, the room finished. I mean, you know, it's not hugely advanced or whatever, um, but I actually like the way it turned out. It looks really cool. I um, mean, these plants are glitching through the wall, so I'm just going to bring those in a bit. But yeah, I'm actually really quite happy with this room. And if you want to download this uh, home library, you can certainly do that. I'll leave a link to the gallery um, in the description of this video. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this room build, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.